that's just the way it fucking is. Greetings. We are going to the Madonna Inn. I have four bundles left. I thought I was going to finish my bundles before I left, but it's basically done. And as to celebrate, I was like, I'm booking a room at the Madonna Inn and I want to go there for the weekend. So I booked this super cute suite. And yeah, I just love San Luis Obispo and the thrifting out there is super cute and it's just like so cute all around. So I'm really excited for that. Today we're gonna do a Flaming Hot Cheeto review. I'll tell you what I would give it out of 10. Here's the Cheeto. So, I'll give it a spice level, like, it's actually pretty spicy, but I have a really high spice tolerance, so I'd probably give it like a 5 out of 10 for the spiciness level. And the taste, I would give it like a 6 out of 10, it's pretty good. I have a very strict review system, so a 6 out of 10 is a pretty good review for me. Yeah, I'm almost done the eyebrow bundle, which I know a lot of you are sad about. I'm sad about it too. Like, I wish it wasn't so draining and taxing on me, but it really is. Um, especially because I take things so personally, which is like a fault in a way, because I wish I wouldn't take things so personally. So, whenever people are not happy with their bundles, I get so bummed. And it literally will affect, like, my entire week. So, it's just not good in my mental health. Which is a good thing to point out in life. Like, to be like, okay, this is a positive thing for me. This is a negative thing for me. And then you just cut out those things in your life that are negative for you. I have a really bomb video that I'm going to be dropping next week. I'm excited about it. It's some major tea. Some tea that we've all been aware of. And I think people should start talking about it. Oh my god. I'm so excited. We're here. Damn. We got the suite. Hell yeah. I feel like this is like the most boring suite I've probably got, but the ceilings are super high and the bathroom's pretty cool, but I just love being at the Madonna Inn and there wasn't that many options, so I'm still stoked. Cute. Yeah, I'm in the middle of this like huge field right now. Here, I'll do a quick bit showing. Super pretty. There's all these crazy trees and it's literally in the middle of nowhere it looks like ireland or some shit driving back from the madonna inn right now and i had such a good weekend honestly like leaving la is very refreshing sometimes and just like having time away from the city especially living in downtown because it's just so nuts like downtown is crazy i'm coming back to canada on wednesday i'm flying to toronto on Wednesday to see my family and then yeah I'll definitely vlog like my trip while I'm there and I'm gonna be there for my mom's birthday and then I come back and it's gonna be crazy because the iGirl party yes the iGirl party is on April 18th I'm gonna be releasing a flyer really soon but it's gonna be an iGirl times ham on everything party and you're all invited gotta come pull a look there's so many great performers I definitely want to, well, obviously I'm going to be doing more YouTube content. So let me know what you want to see down below. Like, I know you've told me what you wanted to see when I was, when I was in Canada, but like some more like LA related stuff that I can deliver to you guys. We're here. We need some wine. Come on. Wow, can 
my hair look any more ratchet right now? It really can't. I'm at Salvation Army with my mom. I found some cute skirts. She had this cat when she was a kid. <laughs> look at its shaky eyes. I did have this cat. I had that cat. That's your cat. I'm gonna go to Underwood Farms and see some goats. And they have a really cute setup for Easter. So I feel like it'll just make for like the cutest day. I think it's like an hour away. So we're gonna head there in a second. Oh my God, I just remembered. Next week is gonna be insane. I'm shooting two trash in episodes next week. And I feel like all of you are gonna die because I really read all your comments and see like who you want to see on trash in. So it's a highly requested one. And next week is also the iGirl party. So it's just gonna be a crazy week. Hello. Are you sunbathing? And then there's the sheep. The sheep are pretty chill. Hi. Hi cuties. So I know this video is a little all over the place because I wanted to upload it a while back, but then I was like, oh, it's so short and I want to make it more juicy. But yeah, anyways, I know a bunch of you have requested like apartment tour and all of that. So I can show you kind of what where my space is at right now because I'm in such a transitional place right now because I'm gonna be moving away from vintage and just focusing on designs, trash in, and I think I'll do occasional vintage, but it's definitely not gonna be the focus if I wanna like go ham on my YouTube. But yeah, so as you can see, my racks are super empty right now. Like they used to be so jam-packed. It's kind of messy in here, sorry. I know this is like a messy house tour. But yeah, this is like a bunch of looks that we're gonna be shooting this week. There's like some really cute shit. Like this Discount Universe dress I'm gonna be uploading. And like this two-piece set is so cute and has like these matching bottoms. It's like a pajama set. And, um, oh my God, this jacket's amazing. It has like animal print hair. Oh my God, and this. I wore this on a video, I think. It's super cute. Oh, by the way, I just got a tat today. I'll like put a pic on the side of the tat that I got. It's so cute. It's like inspired by Batman Returns when Catwoman had that neon sign. Um, yeah, I just love Tim Burton to death. Also, iGirl is hiring. Wow, there's so many like plugins right now that I'm doing, but iGirl's hiring. I'll put like the flyer right here of where you email. So if any of you live in LA and wanna apply, I'm gonna be moving to an office very soon. So there's gonna just be like an iGirl HQ for real. And yeah, I need new help because one of my girls is moving cross country, very crazy. This is like the work area. And it's very messy right now, like disregard that. And yeah. Oh yeah. The anarchy clips, I'm gonna be restocking tonight. And the, we have a new piece coming that's like incredible. And I'm gonna be dropping it, I think on like Wednesday or Thursday. I hope you guys love it as much as I do because I've been like dying for, for this piece. So the racks look very barren. Here's like, I we separated it. I love how it's like a mess, but somewhat organized. Like this side is like all the stuff we plan to put on Ruby and this is all the stuff we plan to put on me. So it's like ooh, organized, but total mess. But this is like my little chill area. And then my bed. And I just organized my closet. I did it in like colors. So it's, cause I always feel like I plan my look based on colors lately. So if you do that, you should or organize your closet like all black, all pink, all red, like all the different colorways because it actually makes it like way easier. And my closet looks so barren since it looks like so minuscule, I feel, after finishing the bundle because I put so much of my clothes in bundles. Sometimes I think about it, I'm like, wow. I gave this one girl recently this like insane rhinestone choker that I had that had like flowers and it was flower shaped rhinestone choker. Oh my God. 
I'll, I'll put a photo of it. I think I gave it to a girl who was going to prom and I, I really wanted to like bless her. So she was probably super stoked on it. So it's fine. And then my messy bathroom. Yeah. So my lease is up here in June. So I'm going to be moving very shortly. It's going to be exciting. And here, I'll show you some pieces. Ooh, I just got some, some cute shit today, actually. I found this like crazy Goosebumps set and it comes with these Goosebumps boxer shorts that I want to pull a look in. And it's just iconic. I just got these really cute accessories. I'm so excited to pull a look. Um, it's like this gemstone choker with these matching cuffs. This one has like bigger gems and this one's smaller gems. And it's like all handmade at this shop. It's in downtown. It's like a goth punk store. But I'm really excited to pull a look in that. I've been doing so much like romantic-y, like renaissance-y looks recently. So I feel like this really fits in with what I'm doing lately. And then this crazy pin, it's from like 1981 and it says spoiled rotten so me yeah as i said earlier i'm gonna be shooting two trash in episodes this week so it's gonna be a crazy week but in about two weeks actually a week from wednesday the next trash in will be up probably and then a week after that the next trash in so it's gonna be kind of jam-packed and i'm so excited for them but yeah make sure to comment below and all my love